Now let's have a dig. And that was a pretty good first throw. Oh yeah. Yeah, we got, got them that time. That is another crack and throw. There's some real good prawns in there. Yep, that is definitely bucket number one done. Have a go at that. That's a lobster. G'day guys and welcome to another Sammy Hitsky fishing adventure. We're going prawning today and it's a special day because we're on one of the sickest fishing vessels in southeast Queensland. Have a go at this rig. Now we're out with my good mate Nick White from Tech Fishing. Whitey. How are you? He's always Mr. Personality. He loves smiling, Whitey. Loves smiling. Always. But we have 28 inches of sander at our disposal today and Whitey's going to use every inch of them to find us some prawns. Uh, it's a pretty relaxed session. Got a couple of extras with us. We've got Dan and Laura from Lawrence. And uh, look, it's just going to be a good old afternoon. We're going to have a few beers, catch a few prawns, fingers crossed. We're just going to watch you cast the net, I think, mate. Well, I'm going to do all the hard work. These guys are probably going to drink all the beers, but I'll sneak one in. It's a cracking arvo. The prawns are meant to be around, so get to it. Well, as you can see, guys, the word's out. A few people here already. We're about an hour before the tide. Whitey's just having a bit of a scan around to see if he can find something. What are you looking for? Looking for prawns, mate. Yeah, did you find any? Uh, we found a few. A bit scattered, so we're just having a bit, a bit more of a perusal, try and find the tightest little pocket of them. So the area we're in now is um, it's pretty deep. We're in about 12 metres here, and it's, there's about a 20 metre hole. It's called the Salt Works, and it is 20 metres. So you don't want to be dragging your net up out of 20 metres all day for nothing. You kind of want to find the prawns and really hit them. And um, yeah, but have a go at what we're looking at here. Check out these screens. That is sounder prawn there right we go. there. Got a few prawns just down on the bottom here. Oh, there's a couple. Of. It's only small. Not, not worth a throw though. Not yet. So you're running side scan, down scan, and traditional sonar, and yeah. then you've got your charts down there. And is that how you usually run them? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Bit of a mixture between. Depends on what I'm doing, but yeah, like get a lot more coverage. Obviously, using your side scan and keep an eye on the structure when you're casting your net too. So. This is just come up pretty thick now. This is what we're looking for, guys. That's prawns all there. That's a metre and a half of prawns. Might get you to put the camera down and... Um, might, have a, might have a sinking net on that. Yeah. yeah. So have a go at that. Got, got, got the party crew there. Just under the boat. Under the boat, so hook it out the side. Now, that's the beauty of having someone who can read their sander well. You can direct you straight onto the prawns. So the call is chuck them out the front. That allows for the the tide as well. I got a heap of rope. Ready to go, Whitey? Yeah, Let's have a dig. And that was a pretty good first throw. <laughs> Look at that sink down, big bell. What depth we got, Whitey? Uh, 15, mate. 15, so plenty of sink here. 1200 of prawns on the bottom. Four. Just touch forward, Whitey. There we go, we're on the bottom there now. Yep. Got him. I don't think we hit the muddle load. I don't think we didn't go that hard on them. Nah, uh, there's a couple. Uh, go the one with the leader markings on it, the sword. All you gotta do is open the lid, mate. Yeah? Oh, right. Oh, this is a fun part. We got a few. We got a few. Uh, that's, that's not a bad first throw. Now, big shiny boat like this, you wanna be careful. Don't wanna mess it up. So, we've got the big rubber mat here for the chain. And that is not a bad start. Yeah, they're all good size too. Have a go at them. Oh, nice. Now that is a proper prawn. That's, that's 35 bucks a kilo, it's in your fish markets. For, as nice. fresh as that. How are we looking, Whitey? Little small fellas there. Uh, 
or into the wind special. Hit the back reverse. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, we got got them that time. We might be home early. We might be home early. You better start getting into those beers. Yeah, that feels pretty good. Yeah, certainly did. That is another crack and throw. There's some real good prawns in there. Prawn cutlet prawns. That's cast number two. I reckon if we keep it up, it's going to be a six throw, six throw bucket. We've got two, two throws, and we're at about two and a half. What's your best, Samuel? Oh, I've got got some probably half bucket throws before. I'd like to beat that today. Oh, I don't know, it's usually, I've never had a really crazy session. You've got a good job of keeping your boat clean too. Trying my hardest. Got to look after the skipper. A few jelly prawns in there. Out the front there. Well, if we don't catch all of them with that throw, I don't know what we're going to do. Tell you what, it's nice having all this real estate to chuck from. Yeah, it's out of control. Well, you yeah. Out. Yeah, a bit light on, Whitey. What's the go, mate? Sorry, mate. Only got half, half a litre. Oh, these are nice prawns. What's your prediction, Whitey? Do we know them? Oh, we should win all right. We're in a bit deeper here? About 16 now. It's 16. Oh yeah. Feel this, Laura? Feel the vibrations? That's oh, all. Yeah. That's all the prawns coming yeah. to the top of the net. Wow. So that's why they've all got the top pockets. The prawns hit the net and just go poof, poof, straight up. Wow. Fourth cast. We're gonna have, have two really big casts after this one if we're gonna make Oh, this one's going to have to be massive. We're not going to make a six cast bucket. It's hard work, eh? Hey? Like, not... From depth it is. That's not too bad. That's another good throw. These are all big bananas. All real nice size. That's five litres, Whitey. Four, that's half no, a bucket. Five cups. Yeah. No, that's four. Nah, five. No, that was up four. We've got two to go. Okay. We're going to need a mother load. We can be pretty picky today. These smaller guys can go back. Just hold out for the big bananas. Sink, my precious. Oh. Got a few here as well. Got a few. There we go. Get five and a half litres there. Ah. Oh, Chain got caught in itself. That was for our six bucket car. <laughs> well, I just got the sack. I think it's going to be a bit slim this time. Oh, wasn't too bad, but we can do better. I can do better. We all just got to strive to be better every cast, don't we, Laura? I want to get one of the big tigers. The big leader prawns. Not, still not a bad cast for a, we missed them. Um, 
I might grab on while you're there. I can, if possible, please, just in case I'll kick it over. Oh, I'll just chuck it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Send it. Yeah. How's this for service? Yeah. Cheers, guys. Cheers, this feels like a pretty decent cast. A few clicking around. Oh, yes. Spike to the finger. Oh, we're not far off the bucket now. Another good one, and we're we're done on that bucket. Out the front, Whitey. Yeah, that's a throw. That's a throw. Big, big prawns. Where were you based out of? You want a prawn? I've got a. Um... Have a go at that. That's a lobster. Almost. <laughs> That'd have been good. <laughs> oh, that's, epic. that's the bucket. That's one bucket down. That must be eight cars, I reckon ten. We'll have to do a count back in the video. These are all massive. Oh yeah, that one. Have a go at that for a banana prawn. Holy dooly. Yep, that is definitely bucket number one done. Have a go at that. That's, that's a bucket. That's 10 litres down. Nah. <laughs> Wouldn't be ideal. This is very relaxed prawning. There you go. Feel? Oh, yeah. yeah, right. Yeah, so that's the prawns, they all click to the top. Yeah. So what do you sort of like let them sort of sit there for a bit? So you gotta let it bottom? get to the bottom, then you do the old, like give it a jerk, yeah. and that slowly edges your net. So if they're sitting on the bottom, the net edges in and it flicks them up. Right. Just stirs them up. You don't just rip it up straight away. Nah, because then it lifts off the bottom before it has a chance to shrink down. Yep. Have you ever been prawn scooping in? Yeah, 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 yeah. How long does that take to get a feed of prawns? Yeah, just feel, gotta wait. Feel like it's easier just to do one cast. Yeah, Back's good. Shoulders are getting tired. It's alright, we won't have to do it too much longer. That was a good one. That was a hey, Bronson, how are you, mate? Yeah, Bronson's good. Rip snorter. Look at this. The boys taking phone calls during the shoot. Oh, no good, man. It's alright. That's alright. That, nice that, was, that was a good one. Yeah. We'll be home soon. Yeah, that was a good one, Whitey. That was that was a leader. Better. <laughs> that was a stitch up. I was just trying to. <laughs> I was almost going down to see if they were down there. That's Drew from Pro Throw Cast Nets over there. Looks like they're filming with ET. You'll see that in an upcoming episode, I'm sure. 
It's not before mine though. That's not bad. I think we've had one marginal cast so far. Do we put it down to the caster or the captain? Oh, I reckon doing a pretty good job sitting back here. You'd hope so. All that technology there. Yeah. Might come down and have a look. Oh, 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 look at that. US, yeah, yeah, that's that's good. what yeah. mate. Well, that's like four meters of prawns. Whew. Hopefully, this is a good cast. Big numbers on the sound of there. Tell you what, Whitey, we might have missed them. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't donut, but a bit quiet. That's the word. I'm happy with the throw. Yeah, that's the one with your net, Samuel. Yeah, that's a good one. Is that the shot? Oh, stop it. Jeez, if we don't get some prawns out of that. Up, eh? Yeah, call it a day. Oh, not as many as you think. So, you've got a tiger. There you go. That's a tiger prawn. They get big. That one's not. Felt a few that time. Oh! Felt a lot better than that. We've slowed up. Lost momentum. They're great size prawns. Well, you can you can prawn cut like that. That's big. Oh, got a bullseye. Yeah, we got probably another two this size or one big one to go. And then we're done. We're on them. Oh, I better get this net out then. Deep water's killing me. Oh, I just need some help from Whitey. Look at the shoulders on him. Look at mine. <laughs> I think we uh, one one more of these off. Yep. That will have to do. That will have to do. Oh. In 14 meters of water. Yeah. You probably only had 15 casts. Nah, I would add a few. I reckon you've had, if you counted them, 32 cars. Yeah, I'd say that. Oh. I think that's oh, us. Stop the bag. I think that is us. Oh. That is 20 litres of prawns, solo with Whitey. Cheers, mate. Where's oh, your beer? Your beer? One, I, I need one now. There you go, that's our second 20. Right, I might even crack it for oh. you since your arms are being a bit sore. Thank you. Do you want me to drink it for you too? Or? Oh, if you don't mind. Cheers, mate. Well done. You. Big effort. I'm buggered. Mm. Jeez. A cold beer, doesn't that hit the spot? Yeah, no, it's good. There we go. Yeah, oh, sorry. Hmm. Not much ice now, 
Ah, yep. like oh, it's salty salt water. It's cold salty water. That's what you want. Well, Whitey, that's 20 litres pretty quickly accrued. Yeah, it um, didn't take long. Did not take long. Have a go at the amount of boats that are here now, though. There would easily be, what, 50, 60 boats? 50 boats? Yeah, there's plenty. There's a lot. That's a lot. But it just goes to show that uh, if you've got someone that can read a sander with good electronics on the boat, you can find those prawns, you can stay on the prawns. We didn't have one cast today where we didn't hit prawns. And Our worst cast was probably maybe eight. Yeah, prawns. eight, and they're all still big prawns, so that's pretty good going. And yeah. I guess a, a sander that's got the uh, downscan capabilities, that's a big thing for prawning. Yeah, well, you can see even now, like looking at the screen at the moment, we've got, what, six, six metres of prawns under the boat? We're in 14 metres of water and prawns up to eight, over eight metres off the bottom. So, so not a, that's a good day of prawning, like that's a good show of prawns, but even when it is pretty slim pickings, having good electronics is really going to be the difference between getting prawns and casting for nothing. And it, trust me, it gets pretty old on the old shoulders after a while. I guess everyone's probably going to be wondering what um, transducer and setup you are running because it is a pretty impressive kit you got there. So, hang on, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll just give us a look at the, uh, the sounders there first. And then take it for what are you running? Mate, so at the moment uh, I've got the HGS 12 and the HGS Live 16. Hold tight, we just got a few boats kicking around. And mate, I'm just running the standard active imaging today while we've been in this depth of water. But yeah, we've got a 1 kilowatt and a 600 watt transducer on this boat as well. So I'm yeah. um, trying to do a bit of different styles of fishing. So not all, not one transducer will cover all types, but the standy back, standy. Standard active imaging is definitely um, well and truly good enough for this depth of water. Prawning, and have we got any use for the radar that you put on the boat? Um, we might need to use it to get out of here, <laughs> I think. So, um, yeah, that could be the hard part, is getting home through all the boats. Yeah, well, there is a few here. I guess while we're here, mate, tell us what you do and how people get in, can get in touch with you. Yeah, so I run a business called Tech Fishing. Basically, come out in your boat, run you through your marine electronics, run you through all the features, teach you how to understand what you're looking at, how to interpret what you're seeing, and um, yeah, try and give you a few tips on how to use your electronics to, to put more fish over the side, or in today's case, try and put some prawns in the boat, so. Definitely no arguments here. Now, a few of you guys would have seen, uh, Whitey's been on heaps of my videos, we've chased threadies, we've chased big flathead. We've been out in the bay. Uh, I try not to take you to all my secret spots. <laughs> I'll, I'll get him to take us, sooner or later. But yeah, the man can fish, so if you do want to learn more about your electronics, make sure you give him a call. I'll put all his uh, all his information in the description below this video, so if you do want to get in contact with him, check below in the description. You'll be finding, able to find all his details there, but uh, mate, we're done. Let's get out of here. Let's get home and have another beer, eh? Well, I did promise Whitey I would clean his boat if he took me prawning. That's it. I had my boat at home, couldn't take that because we had some work on earlier this morning, and then Tez had his tinny, so I couldn't take that either, so we roped Whitey in, and look. We did it. <laughs> it took a bit to get me in. It but... did, it did. We got there in the end. Righto, we'll see you back at home. Well, true to me word, we cleaned the boat. I helped. A little bit. I did, I did half. I drank a beer. It was a good beer. But I'm going to head home. Thank you, Whitey. No worries. And uh, yeah, if you need Whitey, give him a call. I don't know whether we're going to do a cook-up or not yet. I haven't decided. So if there's more time to go in this video, then yes. We are doing a cook up when we get home. Have a good one, guys. Peace out. You. Righto, legends. Now, that is what I call a Southeast Queensland prawning session. That was awesome. That's the best prawning session I reckon I've had this year. Possibly up there with one of the best I've had of all time. I didn't get that massive big cast that I was hoping for. I was really hoping for like a half bucket or even a full bucket cast, but didn't get it. I think we did pretty well considering and have a go at the quality of the prawns. Have a go at that. That is a dead set lobster. That's a big, big prawn. And these guys are going to be perfect for prawn cutlets. Now, prawn cutlets is a old favourite. If you don't like prawn cutlets, then hey, seafood probably isn't for you. They are right up there at the top of the list of delicious seafood morsels. So we're going to whip a few up. Now, I wanted to show you quickly how to do that. 
Um, one thing I did want to say is you don't have to wait until you get big prawns to do prawn cutlets. A lot of people say, oh, you know, that's a cutlet prawn when they refer to a big prawn, which yes, perfect for prawn cutlets, but small models like this guy here, if you're going to do a prawn cutlet, or if you want to do a prawn cutlet, I should say, you just don't splay it in half. You uh, can just leave it, where's my bolt? There it is. Just leave it like this. We'll de-vein it actually. Should use my little trick. There you go. So that's a smaller prawn, and we're just going to leave it whole, unflayed, and um, we'll just crumb it up like that. It's going to be absolutely perfect. Now, for the bigger prawns, we fly them out like so, so there's more surface area, more crunch. Now, I'll show you how I do that now. And today, I'm also going to show you what we do with the prawn heads. Cheeky little trick to make sure you don't ever waste a prawn head ever again. Trust me, you'll thank me for it. It's, uh, it might sound a little. Oh, but wait till you try it, wait till you try it. So let's peel this guy up. Now I might drag the camera over and I'll show you how to cut him up. Oh, before I do that, guess what? We're back in business, beers are back in the fridge, we're all good, so for everyone watching with the beer, cheers to you guys. We are back in business and I can guarantee you, if you're cooking up prawn cutlets, you might need more than one of them because it's a tasty little treat. Get a beer up here, you. Righto, once you've peeled your prawn, you want to devein it first, so very carefully because you're cutting towards yourself here. So kids, if you're watching this, maybe get mum and dad to do this part because cutting towards yourself is no good. So you cut down there, take the vein out. Oh, this guy's pretty empty. There you go. And then we want to use a very sharp knife and cut almost all the way through from the top to the bottom. Now you don't want to cut all the way through, you want to leave a little bit there and that will fly open like that and you're ready to rock and roll. Now what you're going to need to make this coating is some um, plain flour and I use a bit of this stuff. It's called lemon pepper. Now mix the two together in a placky bag. You're also going to need some egg wash which is just two eggs and a dash of milk. You mix that together and we've got some panko breadcrumbs uh, and they're also in a plastic bag. Now it is literally flour, egg and breadcrumbs. So grab them one at a time and you want to keep them open like that and place them in the flour. Once you get one side down you're all good but you just need to keep that side open so it doesn't stick shut once you put it in the flour. Just load your bag up with them. You should be able to smell the lemon pepper in your, um, in your flour. You don't have to put a ton in there but Put enough so you can you can actually smell it, otherwise the uh, the flour will dilute it and you won't actually taste it. Give it a shake. Oh no. Huh. Put a hole in it. It's gonna be an issue. You do have to watch the tail spikes are still there, so you can still spike yourself. Now when, you, when you're pulling them out, just give them a quick look over, make sure they've got plenty of uh, plenty of flour on them. And then dunk them in your egg wash. Give it a full coating, including the tail, and then straighten the panko. Again, make sure they stay open, otherwise they'll stick shut on you. What you're left with is that. There's crumb all over it, including the tail. And uh, oh, what I need is something to put them on. Another clean plate. And now you just gotta do the rest of his mates as well. Now while you're doing this, make sure you've got your pan or wok, whatever you're gonna use, already on and your oil heating up. Now I like to do it in a bit of a shallow fry. Uh, you can also cook them in butter in a fry pan and that is absolutely sensational. It is a bit, um, probably a bit on the unhealthy side, but it is, it is the go. I'm gonna do the rest of these, then I'll cross back to you when we uh, sort out these prawn heads. All the prawns are now panko'd right up and we're left with the heads. Oh, how was that for timing? Looks a bit gross, but hear me out. They do this in fancy restaurants, so we can do it ourselves. So what you want to do is you want to cut the feelers off, or the antennas, whatever you call them. So you're just left with a head like that. Chuck them in your flour mixture, because we're going to be eating them. We're going to deep fry them up, and it's going to be delicious. And it also means you don't waste any of your prawn. Now, if you don't believe me, you're more than welcome to jump on Google and have a look at it. All the fancy restaurants be doing this sort of stuff. 
So, they even do it on MasterChef, I'm pretty sure. But we'll leave them in here, because we'll cook them last. I'll do a couple of these first, and uh, then we'll cook up our heads. That oil is nice and hot now. Grab your prawn and chuck them in. You want it to be sizzling like that. It's a good indication that it's nice and hot. And you want to put, you can load it right up. Just make sure they don't stick together. Grab yourself something like this so you can turn them. They won't take long either. See how they're going brown already? Oh. This is live action. No cuts here. Uh, cooking in front of your very eyes, hence the, uh, the shaky camera work. Oh, these guys are done. Big drain. And you can see that coloration next to the white background there. You don't want to take them too hard because you'll actually overcook your prawns. Um, that's like a light golden brown and that's absolutely perfect. Again, you want to make sure that oil is nice and hot. See, they've got a nice coating of flour on them. It's going to act like a, uh, a bit of a crust. And chuck them in. Yes. Now, I don't know if you can see them cooking away in the background there. But you want to cook these for a bit longer than you cooked the uh, cutlets themselves. So we had them out when they were golden brown. These you want to take a bit further so they're really nice and crunchy. The darker brown is fine. Crunch is what you want. Well there you go guys. That is a plate chock-a-block full of awesome. Got the prawns. There's no, there's no, um, no better thing than fresh prawn cutlets. It's hard to beat. They are one of the best ingredients in the sea. You can eat the tail as well. Nice and crunchy, best bit. And our prawn heads, look at that. All nice and crispy as well. See that crunch? Absolutely beautiful. Just watch the spike on the front. Don't go hell for leather on that and, and do yourself a mischief. But guys, if you live in southeast Queensland, you'd be crazy if you didn't go out there and grab yourself a feed of fresh prawns because there is nothing better on the plate and there's still plenty of prawns around. They should be here for another month or two. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Massive shout out to Whitey for letting us go prawning off his boat. He's only had that tub for about a month or so. I don't think he thought he would ever go prawning off it, let alone in the first month, but he did. We got a heap of prawns, so massive shout out to Whitey. All his details will be below. Guys, if you like to learn something, make sure you smash that like button. Leave us a comment below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe because there is new fishing videos coming every single week. If you want to support the channel, Grab yourself a hat off my website, www.sammyhitskyfishing.com. You can follow me on Instagram, at sammyhitskyfishing.com. Uh, I'm also on Facebook, at sammyhitskyfishing as well. I think that's all I've got for you guys. Hope you had a good week, hope you got a few fish, and I'll catch you next week for another Sammy Hitsky Fishing adventure. Have a good one, guys. Catch you later. I'm going to get stuck into these. Good. Hey legends, me again. Just wanted to let you know, I'll be doing some fishing presentations up on the catch and cook stage at this year's National 4x4 and Outdoor Show Fishing and Boating Expo. Now that's on Brisbane Showgrounds, the 27th to the 29th of March. So chuck it in your diary, don't forget. And if you want to buy your tickets early, you can use my discount code SAMI20 and save yourself some coin. Hope to see you there.